I consider myself very fortunate to have interacted with His Holiness Srila Radha Govinda Maharaj. In the year 2003, I met Radha Govinda Maharaj in New Jersey in the United States of America. By then, we were traveling the East Coast of America and we spent a number of days in the New Jersey Temple. And at that time, His Holiness Radha Govinda Swami Maharaj came there. And he gave a very wonderful lecture. Even though he spoke in Hindi, he did not speak in English. He spoke in Hindi, but I could, I could feel the ecstasy of the lecture. It was more of a, a heart to heart connection. And that was my first experience with Maharaj. I've heard about him before, but I never met him face to face. And I never sat in his class until we met in New Jersey. So, um, after the class, he left for some other program somewhere. And I never met Maharaj again until again 2010 or 2011. I was on the Vrindavan Parikram Mark. And then when I turned back, I saw Maharaj coming. So naturally we slow down so that he can pass and we will follow him. We, we should not lead him. I was with one or other two devotees. So they would pay the obeisances and Maharaj walked up to us. He did not pass, he stopped. And he has such a sharp memory. He said, Prabhu, I met you in New Jersey in 2003. I was amazed how he remembered the year we met, the place we met. And then he started telling me about Bhakti Tita Maharaj. In fact, first he asked me, now who is your Guru Maharaj? I said, Bhakti Tita Maharaj. And then he said, wonderful. He's a special Vaishnav. And then he started telling me some pastimes between him and Bhakti Tita Maharaj in London. And so we followed him. We walked for some time. In about 30 minutes, we were just following him. And he was telling us his pastimes with Bhakti Tita Maharaj. So, from these two interactions, I could understand the kind of Vaishnava that he is. And so, some years back, Guru Krishna Maharaj was giving his series of lectures in Mayapur. Every year he will come to Mayapur and give his Krishna Kata. So the first time he came, I was in Mayapur, but I didn't attend. But later on, I asked the devotees, who is speaking? After he had already finished and gone. And they said, he's one of the disciples, Radha Govinda Maharaj. I said, wow, then I miss. I should have attended that class. So the following year, when Guru Krishna Maharaj came, 
He was speaking in Hindi, and there was some English translation. So I, again, I, I, I attended all his lectures. And from his discussion, from his deliberation, you can feel the Srimad Bhagavatam. He was reliving the Srimad Bhagavatam. And so it is obvious that what he has been fed by his guru is what he was giving to the devotees in Mayapur. So I have heard how Maharaj gives special interest to Srimad Bhagavatam. He reads Bhagavatam all day. He speaks Bhagavatam all the time. His favorite book in the church is the Srimad Bhagavatam. And so we can see that in his disciples also. Guru Krishna Maharaj will give such wonderful classes. And of course, here we are in Iskan Mahavidyalaya place where Shema Bhagavatam is being spoken every day. And that is by his, one of his exalted disciples, Brahsundar Prabhu, that because he has received such knowledge, because he has been fed by Shla Radha Govinda Maharaj, he felt the need to establish such an institute so that the whole world can relish Srimad Bhagavatam. So the little I can say about Radha Govinda Maharaj is that he is an example of a very advanced Vaishnav. It's an example of an empowered Vaishnav who has developed that taste for Srimad Bhagavatam. And actually, he is in this world just to give us a taste of Srimad Bhagavatam. I was reading one past time about his meeting Shri Prabhupada in Gorakhpur. I think the first speakers mentioned that. The first Maharaj read in the newspaper how A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami had arrived with between 35 and 40 disciples from America and he was touring the whole India and presenting Krishna consciousness. At that time, Radha Govinda Maharaj was in Benares when Prabhupada arrived in Benares. So he decided to go and listen. And he was very impressed with the Prabhupada's message. So he asked the disciples, where are you going from here? And they said they were going to Gorakhpur. So he decided to go to Gorakhpur so that he can meet Shla Prabhupada face to face. So when he arrived at the ashram where Shla Prabhupada was staying, there was no devotee with Prabhupada. Shla Prabhupada was alone in the ashram. And he could not make him out as the person who gave the lecture in Benares. So he went to him and said, please sir, I want to meet A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And Prabhupada said, for what? What do you want to see him for? And he said, he is my spiritual master. Then he said, why do you accept him as a spiritual master? He said, he is preaching the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then Prabhupada said, who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? And he said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. And then there was an argument. Prabhupada said, no, 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 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not Krishna himself. He is a devotee of Krishna. 
And Radha Govinda Maharaj said, no, 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 he is Krishna himself. So that argument went on and on and on until the point Radha Govinda started shouting. Radha Govinda Maharaj started shouting. Krish Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. He only acts as a devotee to deliver the message. And just then, some devotees came in and started paying obeisance to Krishna Prabhupada. And then he realized that this might be the person that he is looking for. So he also paid his obeisances. And Prabhupada now took him into his room. And then Prabhupada was smiling and said, I love the way you, you, you defended Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I love your strength, your conviction about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So from this angle, we can see that he was already, uh, he was already a, 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 an empowered devotee. He is already sent down here by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He had full faith in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he is sent into this world to spread the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to spread the glories of, of Srimad Bhagavatam. And so we are very fortunate to be here today on this most auspicious day to participate in the Vyas Puja celebration of His Holiness Shri Radhanath Govinda, Radha Govinda Maharaj. Thank you very much for allowing me to be here. Hare Krishna.